Welcome back. So here's a bit of an update on what's been going on. I got the new oil cooler back, the bronze one. You'll see that here in a second. And I've run that out on the ramp. So let's see how that all turns out. All right, so uh, machine shop finished off this new bronze oil collar. So as you can see, basically got it done, got the bearings pressed in there as well. And you can see in there um, that the channels are narrower there and then the close tolerance areas are wider so uh, hopefully that's going to work out on the shaft the way it's supposed to work and from a suggestion someone did on my youtube channel there instead of having the drain holes out the bottom i've got them clocked there at 90 degrees so this way the feeds in here and it should always retain a little bit of oil in those couple of channels there um, and, and when it comes up to the halfway height or it'll come out the drain there and those drains are kind of like slotted there because of the narrowness and if I have to block those off I can put the little caps in there and the guys tap those out for me as well so hopefully that works out and uh, we'll see now just test fit it there on the shaft and you can see it's turning nicely there so riding on the bearings and there's no contact or anything like that and it was a slip fit even before the bearings were on there so hopefully it's going to seal enough and if it doesn't seal enough then we can block those off and then the oil is going to be sort of forced to come out here but then I can just drill those out uh, more um, so put plugs in there but just put small little drain holes in them if I need to hold pressure that way so we'll see it's all an experiment All right, so I got the aircraft out on the ramp. Uh, it's actually chocked there, so it won't go anywhere. And I've got the brake on as well, the park brake on. And so the initial thing to do, or that I wanted to do, was just bring it up to um, sort of an RPM where I could uh, bring the governor in without sort of you know going too high. And it's already warmed up now, so um, it's basically the oil is 150. So the goal is here to bring it up to 3100 RPM and then uh, cycle the governor all the way back and that should bring the prop back to about 2900 RPM and then you know it's going to um, basically take the governor off there and then it should cycle back to 3100 RPM so you can see uh, how it goes now. And initially it takes a few seconds for the oil to cycle to the prop when it's uh, you know just been reassembled. Alright, so first test was successful. Um, it brought the prop in, the, you know, fattened up the pitch of the prop, dropped the RPM actually more than what I thought. Um, it brought it down into the sort of 2700 for the power setting that I had. So uh, that's good, a good sign. And then uh, it didn't take very long once I took the um, governor out to go back to flat pitch. It didn't take very long for it to, um, you know, come back in again. So. Pretty happy how that's working so far, so we'll go on to the next test. So this time now with the oil at a hotter temperature, it's potentially not going to hold pressure quite so well because the oil will be you know, uh, less viscous.
so here I'm just varying the power and varying the prop pitch just to see if it sort of you know comes in and out the way it's supposed to do and so far everything was looking great wasn't having any problems at all and it was responding just the way it did um, probably a little more uh, so than the than the previous one in, in other words it's a little bit tighter in that so it, it holds pressure better than the old one did All right, so after each couple of runs, I actually shut down the engine and uh, checked everything, made sure there weren't any leaks or anything looked weird or anything like that. So this is after, uh, the, I think, the second last shutdown that I did. So I didn't get all of this video. I think I ran the engine for a total of about 40 minutes um, through you know all the different power settings all the way up to full power and bringing the prop in at different settings. So couldn't find any issues with anything. So I'm going to call this a win uh, at this point and then just start moving on to getting ready to uh, fly it again. All right, so in this run, I actually took it up to full power, at which point um, this camera out here on the wing is really affected by, you know, a harmonic or shock wave or something like that coming off the prop. Uh, when that prop hits at 2400 RPM, when the engine's at sort of 3800 RPM, um, you'll see it vibrate, you know, fairly violently, violently. And, you know, you've seen that before in the flights and stuff, and it's just the positioning of this camera. Um, it's not doing anything like that that's noticeable when you're sitting in the in the aircraft. I'm sure if I stood here right where this camera was, I'd probably feel something, but you're not feeling anything actually coming through into the aircraft, so there's not like any inherent uh, vibration that happens on the whole aircraft um, at that RPM. And this is another run to full power, again, again, cycling the prop once I had it there. Um, took it from the engine from about 3,800 down to about 3,500. And I was just varying it just to see, uh, you know, how you know, minor adjustments on the governor there were changing the RPM. So everything seems to be working um, just the way it's supposed to on this, so I'm pretty happy. So as you see, it's actually working, um, actually working a little bit better than the, the other one used to do. It's holding a little bit more pressure and that's because I think those wider channels now. Um, so the advantage of that is that I can get the engine to come down to a lower RPM when I'm cruising. So maybe be able to hold 2800 RPM instead of 29, which will be good. So that's a plus. Uh, so the next step is I have to um, get my insurance renewed here because that just lapsed um, a week or so ago while I had this down and didn't want to renew it while I was not having the chance to fly it. So anyway, I've got to get that renewed here and that should only take a day or so. And then I'll uh, take the aircraft out on the runway a couple of times and do some high speed runs and do a little bit more ramp run there just to make sure there's nothing else uh, that I haven't sort of caught yet. 
and then I'll be ready to fly it again. So anyway, that's the update. Thanks for watching and tune in again for the next one. Cheers.